Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Treats where we show you easy recipes you can make at home. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing Greek yogurt bagels without yeast. Yes, no yeast at all, no proofing time, no resting time. They literally take only a few minutes to prepare and look at them, they're amazing and they taste absolutely great. As always, the ingredients are in the description and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and if you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe. Let's get started. I've already prepared two cups of flour, that's about 240 grams of all-purpose flour in a big mixing bowl. And to that, I'm going to add four teaspoons of baking powder. Because we're not using yeast, we're gonna need something for the dough to raise and blow up. We're also gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to stir this in a little bit, just to combine all the ingredients. Here we go, that's enough. And we're gonna add in one and a half cups or approximately 340 grams of Greek yogurt. I'm using full fat Greek yogurt. Of course, you can use 2%, it will work just fine. Add that into your bowl. And then using a fork, just stir it until it's combined. At one point, you won't be able to mix it anymore with a fork. That's when you start using your hand. Now, this dough is sticky um, and you will need to add flour as you mix. Use your hands and net it in so it picks up all the remaining flour in the bowl. Now that it's picked up all the loose flour from the bowl, I'm gonna set this quickly aside and I'm gonna add a little bit of flour on my working surface. Now you see, it is a pretty sticky dough, but don't worry, it's gonna turn out just fine. So I'll add a little bit of all-purpose flour here and then just place the dough on it. And now we're gonna net it for a few minutes until it's smooth and well combined. Now, you might need to add flour as you net because as soon as the flour is absorbed, the Greek yogurt really sticks to your hands. So just have it on standby and add as you go. I've netted this dough for two to three minutes and I know it's ready, I can tell now because it's nice and soft, but the surface is smooth. That's when I know that the dough is ready. So I'm going to fold it into itself and this is a technique I also showed you when I made the Kaiser Semo in my previous video. If you want to see that video, by the way, there'll be a link on top here. You can do this for proofing rolls. You use three of your fingers um, to hold the bread and fold it in itself. And then you use your thumb to fold it over, yeah? Now this is sticky, so keep applying flour it's never gonna stop being sticky because that's just how this dough is. And we'll just wanna form a shape. You can shake it a little like this just to round it off, pinch it together, and this is ready. Now, this is not a yeast dough, so it doesn't need proofing. It only needs to rest for a few minutes. I'm gonna flour it so it doesn't stick to the bowl. And I'll place it in my glass bowl. I'll cover it and I'll leave this for five minutes until I prepare my baking tray and I'll see you in a minute. The dough has rested for 10 minutes and we are ready to shape our bagels. Now first, let's put a little bit of flour on our working surface. Remember, the dough is sticky and we don't want it sticking all over the place. Put down a bit of flour, get your dough. And we are going to split this into eight equal parts. And there's a few ways you can do that, of course, you could use a kitchen scale, or you could just half it and keep halving until you have eight um, equal portions. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Here we go. That's two. You can flour your bench um, scrape a little bit. Okay, 
we have eight equal pieces and we are going to apply the same technique we, we did before and the same one in the semo. Flour a little bit and then we're gonna form round toe balls. Again, just fold over, fold over, tuck in with, the, with your thumb and with your index finger and then just pinch the bottom together. And then you can roll it a bit like this just to give it a nice round shape. Okay, one done. Let's do all of them. Now we have eight equal dough balls ready and it's time to shape the bagels. I'm gonna show you two methods uh, you can shape the bagels and they're both quite easy, but this one here is my preferred one. You take the dough ball and using your thumb or your index finger, press into the center of it to form like a little donut shape. You might wanna get a little bit of flour on your fingers so it doesn't stick to the dough. Then flip it around and do the same on the other side. So now I have this donut shape. And pinch through it so you have a hole in the middle. We add a very tiny little amount of flour so the middle doesn't stick where we tore the dough. And then we put one finger in, rolling the dough like this on our fingers. You can then add a second one stretch it out quite well and then if you have any uneven uh, parts then you can just pinch them back together don't worry these are going to straighten out during the baking like so and just stretch them out equally now you want to make the hole bigger than you think because they will blow up in the oven and if you don't leave enough space um, they're just going to close up and look like buns. So give them plenty of space like this. I think this is a good amount here. Straighten it a bit and then place it in your baking tray. And let it rest until you prepare the next one. And the second method is a little different. We're just going to roll the dough out into a long shape like this. Just Press down, roll, and stretch to the sides, and that will give you a nice, even shape. There you go. And then fold the edges together, like so, overlap them a little bit, fold them into each other, twist them together, squeeze them. Now, if you've used too much flour, they might not stick so easy, so just um, squeeze a bit harder and it's going to come together just fine. There you go, like this. And then just, again, evenly shape it, stretch it out a little bit more, try to get the same size hole as the other one. Here we go, and that's ready. I'm going to prepare all of these and then we go to the next step just before baking. bagels are shaped and almost ready for baking. Before we bake them, we're gonna add a little bit of egg wash so they brown, and we're gonna add a few sesame seeds just as a topping. You can add different toppings if you want. You could add maybe poppy seeds or grated cheese. Um, you really have a few options here, so use your creativity. Now we're gonna beat this egg a little bit here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. It's just a teaspoon or so. So it's easy to spread the egg wash. Okay, this will do the trick. And then I'm just going to paint each one of them thoroughly with the egg wash. The egg wash is also gonna act as glue for the sesame seeds. And I have preheated my oven already at 175 degrees. So I have that ready at that point. So at, at this point, you should be ready with the oven. We'll add a few sesame seeds and they're gonna bake with the bagels. Let's go on top here. And 
and the bagels are ready for the oven. So we'll just pop them in. The oven is at 175 degrees. That's approximately 345 Fahrenheit. And we're gonna bake them until they're nice golden brown. Let's do it. Wow, look how amazing these turned out. They smell great and I can't wait to taste them. But before I do, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave us a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, subscribe and ring that bell button. Now it's time for the taste test. Ready? Here we go. Mmm. Oh wow, look at that. Mmm, it's really, it's so good. Guys, you have to try these. They're really, really good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Yeah.